Hail and greetings all, Ragnarok Prepper here. And I thought I'd show you what I'm working on. I'm extracting the quills from a porcupine hide. Now we did salt and dry this hide so that it might be a little bit easier to remove the needles. Um, this is the first time that we harvested a porcupine this fall. And so we wanna be sure to collect the needles and use them in some appropriate manners so basically what we did is like i said you saw me skin it i salted and dried it and now i have it here on this little piece of metal and i'll bring you closer and let you see what's up so basically i have the hide and i have it set over top of this car ramp and I have an old axe handle that I'm using to secure the hide down. And then I'm simply taking my pliers, grabbing a few, and ripping towards myself. Or in reverse order from the direction of the quill. As you can see here, the dark end is the dangerous end. And I'm trying not to exert too much pressure with the pliers because I don't want to damage the quills. And then I just drop them up here onto my tray, which later I'll go back and separate the hair from the needles. Once again, I'm just pulling it this way and dropping them out this way. Sorry, I had to redo the camera angle there. I couldn't hold the axe handle with my leg if it was that close. Now, I'm being careful that I don't jab myself. Some of them do fly off, but they land here on the ramp, so that's okay. Definitely want to check the ground around me. I don't want to leave it out for all the barefoot traffic. It would not be a fun experience. As you can see, the hide is completely guard hairs and quills. There is no soft, petty spot. If you touch any part of this, you're going to feel the pain. I'm hoping to make some decorations with these, some beadwork, some jewelry work. I think that would be a great way to commemorate the harvesting of this animal and to let its spirit live on in its memory. Now remember what you're doing is some of them will break especially if you're exerting too much pressure or you get too anxious i figured that out <laughs> and they kind of have the consistency right now of like a i'm gonna say like your fingernail they're not completely hard but yet at the same time they're not soft it's almost like a cartilage feeling so when I do squeeze some of them they will bend but if you take and adjust them it comes right back out It's almost like the end of a feather, the quill of a feather, actually. I 
like the different color variations too. There's some that are dark and some that are almost orange. Maybe you can, nope. There we go. So it's just that reverse motion of going in close to the base and pulling towards myself that I find with the anchor, of course, it works best. Now, as you can see, I will have to go in, like I said, and separate the hairs from the quills, but I'm making good progress. Until next we meet, be well.